so far the movie with the most commercials and greatest ad campaign has been a leader battle angel early reviews are in i seen an early screening i'm gonna give you the spoiler free review and let you guys see what the critics are talking about and it starts right now in this video In time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, but to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. What's good, YouTube? You're in the building with y'all knowing I love you and I'm feeling I'm seeing all powerful. It's damn all everything. The sexiest hell host. We're bringing you life game movie reviews where we help you make a decision on whether you should go see a movie in the theater or wait for it to come out on your favorite streaming device. And today we're talking Alita Battle Angel. But first, y'all know how we do on these movie reviews. We put on the plus seven glasses of cinema sexy as hell because we work on skilling our craft giving you a more informed youtube experience something better to look at please subscribe to this channel and go check me out on my facebook link so this movie is directed by rob rodriguez and produced by james cameron this is something that they've been planning to do for a little while and it stars the voice of rose salazar as a leader this movie you can kind of put into that realm of anime for all my anime lovers out there and as i'm sitting there watching the movie because i'm not an anime person i really haven't seen many anime movies but i did get hooked on the commercials i decided this is going to be one i'm going to go check out and throughout the movie i enjoyed most of it the pacing w was not quite the way i wanted it but when i talk about the visual effects man this movie had better visual effects i would say than aquaman you are going to be thrilled with that. You're going to be thrilled with some of those race scenes that they have in this movie. Um, it's just a bonanza of great, great video. This film is very action heavy, and you can tell that they put a lot of work into making the film entertaining. And considering I'm not a person who always tells people to go see these things in 3D, I am going to say that if you are going to go see this movie, you definitely want to see the 3D for the way things pan through the theater. The, the sound quality of the theater and just the visual effects. If you haven't learned anything from James Cameron, when it comes to 3D movies, he is definitely the man. In traditional kind of comic book action form, this movie has a romance, and y'all know I'm not a fan of a lot of romances in this movie, and in this movie as well, the romance wasn't that good. Um, some people complained about the cheese that they seen with Aquaman. Well, this romance is going to be a little cheesy as well, but it doesn't take away from the movie. The villain in the movie, you're not going to be enthralled by him. He's basically like some evil villain that just sits up in new gods if you follow DC. He never comes down and really gets into the action. He send all his henchmen to battle a leader, and those are some great battles, but you're not going to be enthralled by the villain because he doesn't really do anything. And you can kind of understand that because it seems like it might be a lead up to other movies. If you haven't or you're not familiar with the source material of a leader battle angel, you might be a little put off by this movie. I wasn't familiar with it, but y'all know I've been doing more movie reviews, trying to understand what makes a quality movie. So it was entertaining and decent for me. But if you've never seen the source material on this type of movie or on this movie in general, you might be a, a little put off because there's going to be some concepts going on in this movie that you're not going to understand. When it comes down to the acting, the only thing you need to know is a leader, Rose Salazar. She nailed it. I mean, she hit a home run further than Barry Bonds would hit one. She did an outstanding job in this movie. In terms of the other acting, the other acting was good. 
However, there was no one you're going to build an emotional relationship with that's a supporting actor. Pretty much all your emotion is going to be on the leader. Her struggle as she's learning how to manipulate her powers as she's going through the movie. That's who you're going to be fully invested in throughout this movie. Overall, without spoiling anything, I'm going to say for those of you that like anime and been wanting to see anime on the big screen, you want to go see this movie. It is going to be something that's a groundswell for you because a lot of these movies are starting to come out and be popularized and this one is going to help with that case. Everything is good about the movie. Pacing ain't that great. But you can tell a lot of this was done because they're trying to set it up for another one. But if you are a big fan of anime, I'm definitely going to say you need to go see this and not wait for the stream and definitely see it in 3D. However, if you're not a fan of anime, you don't know the source material, I'm going to say wait. And on a life gain scale, 0 to 10, I give this movie 6.5 out of 10. It's definitely entertaining. It's definitely got good visuals. But if there's something else you want to budget for coming out in the next couple of weeks, I would definitely say wait unless you love anime or unless you know the source material. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Let me know if you want me to do a spoiler review after everybody's had a chance to see the movie. The movie comes out in another week. And until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.